Am I the asshole? For telling my son he has to go to university, get a job, or get out? My wife and I have three children. They are 17, 15, and 10. My oldest has no intention to do anything after high school. At least none he has made clear to us. So I gave him the same ultimatum my parents gave me. Either go to university, get a job, or GTFO. I chose to travel the world for two years. I had a lot of sailing experience and my father had a lot of friends in that community so I was able to sail around the world earning money and working my ass off. It wasn't a two-year vacation. My family is well off and I could have chosen an indolent life. But I knew I would be a disappointment if I chose that. So when I got back I enrolled in university and eventually went to work for the family business. My wife thinks that I'm being unfair to our poor baby boy throwing him out into the world. I'm not. We have the money to pay for his university. We have the money for all three kids. My middle child will probably end up with a good chunk of it in her pocket. She is on track for an academic as well as a golf scholarship. The 10-year-old is dead and who knows what he's going to do. But he knows the plan. We have not been secretive about this rule. My wife and I agreed that we would raise productive members of society before we got engaged. Her and my son think I'm being cruel to expect him to fend for himself at 18. I have offered him multiple opportunities to do other things. He has no interest in anything beyond his computer. I am at a loss. I don't think I'm wrong for expecting an adult to adult. My parents have already told him that they will not be giving him any money if he isn't in school or working. My wife is threatening to use her salary to support him. I don't have any say in that. I won't actually kick him out of the house but I will stop paying his bills and cut off our grocery budget by 20. If she wants to work so he doesn't have to there is nothing I can do about that. Not the asshole, but all your efforts will be pointless if you and your wife can't get on the same page. I think you need to talk this out further with her, try and make her see you're helping him in the long run by making a firm boundary on this. Not the asshole assuming that a trade school, apprenticeship, or community college would also be acceptable. Not the asshole. Does your wife really think it's feasible to support him for the rest of her life? What's gonna happen to him when both of you are gone? It'll be a far worse fate for him at that age than right now when he's still young. How is his mental health? Not the asshole I'd ask your wife how will he survive in the future if his mother isn't supporting him and what kind of example is he setting for his siblings? If you feel generous then offer a gap year to decide what he wants to do but he has to do volunteer work in the community so many hours a month. Not the asshole, this is barely an ultimatum. It's just offering him a range of options for the next stage of his life, with what seems to be quite a generous amount of support. It's a good deal. It is concerning that he doesn't seem to have any aspirations. Does he have interests or hobbies that might lead towards a job or field of study? Talk to him more. You're the asshole let the kid grow up on his own time. It's a pointless waste of everyone's time to needlessly create an adversarial relationship with your child who is still a child. He might need longer than what you took to figure out his path. Yes. You're the asshole. Kids need space to work out their path. Forcing them to choose will only make them unhappy. Like you probably are. You are not asking him to fend for himself at 18. You only want him to get a full-time job. Big difference. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but if he likes his computer, maybe talk about avenues for progress he can make via being on his computer. Like not even pay rent? Just get a job? Not the asshole. Are you good with part-time work, just as long as you earn some money? Some kid can be scared or overwhelmed by their future. A life coach or counselor may be helpful. He may not know what he wants. It is very reasonable to expect him to do something but he may need help to finding out what to do. Not the asshole. He's not being forced to fend for himself, if he's being offered paid for college. Not the asshole. Going to college is hardly fending for yourself, especially when you won't have to worry about tuition costs or loans. No part of this is unreasonable and if he's not going to become educated or contribute to society, he can at the bare minimum contribute to the household. On that note, info how much of a financial contribution to the household would be expected if he did just get a job? Not the asshole. Part of parenting is teaching your kids how to fend for themselves. Not the asshole we all have to face this as we come of age. Hell, you're willing to let them stay rent-free? More than many other kids ever get. He can't do nothing. You are parenting a young adult exactly as you need to in order to help him understand how things work.
If she is still upset with you, have her sit down and read the story of Joel Guy Jr. You're not making him fend for himself Lamau up offered to pay for college and said he could still live with you as long as he gets a job. He just can't do nothing omg. I'm the youngest of five, had a plan for my future military fall through too fat, and millions of other options right after 9-11, and was trying to figure out what to do with my life. My dad said I could live at home, but I had to be doing one of three things 1. Get a job, 2. Go to school, or 3. Train for the military. I did all three for a while community college, retail, and running three miles just about every day. Eventually quit one running, then another school. Sounds like you're offering what my dad offered me. Not the asshole. Not the asshole if he doesn't want to go to university or trade school then let him get a job or join the military. He's not owed an indolent future playing games all day while living in your house. Not the asshole you've presented reasonable options and now it's up to him to make the choice. Your wife is enabling his behavior and the both of you need to get on the same page. What's your wife's plans for him if the both of you were to pass away and your son has no education or work skills? Not the asshole this is the same rule I set for mine. Granted we are not well off. He can live with me, but must be in an activity work or school. He also was very attached to his computer. He chose work, got a job in a local pizza place, and now is in his first semester of college. Sometimes you have to push a little. Not the asshole, I had the same conversation with my daughter. She chose to work and save up money to move out. My mom's parents never did this with their kids and their 61-year-old daughter and 58-year-old son still live at home and have no life skills or work experience. Don't be like my grandparents. I left the house pretty late, also glued to the computer, and 15 years later I was diagnosed with ADHD. Could it be worth looking into for your son? A diagnosis at that age would have helped me get my shit together enormously. Info. At least none he has made clear to us. You don't even know? Why are you talking to us before talking to him? How come there's not a single word up there in that post saying what he thinks? This post is just a list of threats a bunch of adults have made to a teenager. How are we supposed to judge if one side is completely missing? Unpopular opinion you're the asshole, he didn't ask to be born. If you decide to put a kid in the world, emo, you sign up for covering all of his her needs, for life. If they want more out of life, it's fair enough that they get a job to pay for it but he has no obligation to because he didn't make the choice to enter the world. Coming from someone who moved out and got a job at 18 BTW and went to uni without my parents' support later on, while still working. Jesus Christ he is 17. Like you're not wrong but you're not really helping him. No one knows what the fuck they wanna do 100 at 17. Like yeah he should have a job but like you're not actually parenting him, you're just essentially going figure it out figure what out? I'd be a man talk to him and like actually get him to understand what is going to happen out in the world to him if he doesn't start planning something. You're the asshole, and honestly, you sound insufferable. Give the poor kid some space to breathe. He's 17, for God's sake. Maybe you could get off your high horse and actually connect with him before you decide he's worthless? He's interested in computers, which could translate into any number of amazing career opportunities. And BTW, human beings have intrinsic value. Regardless of whether, in your opinion, they are productive members of society. When my husband and I had kids, we agreed we would love them unconditionally, as they deserve. You should try it. Not the asshole. And I think your wife is still shielding your son from having to internalize the consequences. As long as she says don't listen to dad, I got you he won't care. You two really need to get into the same page unless you want to have him in your basement at 35 and an extremely resentful relationship. I'm curious why your wife doesn't want to set him up for success in life. It assumes she doesn't want him to leave if they have a more of best friend relationship over mother son. And what's his long term plan? Get a job, or go to school are pretty much everyone options after HS. Info 1. How was this conversation conveyed? The wording you're using here would seem daunting to any teenager. 2. Define job. Are you fine with him getting a simple retail food job? Or do you expect him to find a career he can climb? Not the asshole. This is a pretty standard rule. Go to work or go to school. Not the asshole. To Hess 17 he should go to collage or ATL East go to work. He doesn't heal with bills so it's a reasonable thing to do. People in my family have started working since 16. 18 is not too young to work. Not the asshole great job dad. I have siblings still living with my parents in their mid-30s.
Hey son, I know you didn't have a say in whether you were born or not but I made that decision for you. But you see, now I've had enough playtime with you and you need to GTFO. Why? Because I said so, that's why. You're the asshole. Parenthood is not an 18 year commitment, it's lifelong. Don't consciously have kids if you can't support them for life. So, the implication here is that he can get virtually any job, and you'd help him support himself if he isn't ready for university yet? Yeah, going with a very firm not the asshole here. He isn't some trust fund heir, he has to live in reality, he is simply going to have to do some things he doesn't want to do. You're not forcing him to pursue some career he isn't sure about, or enroll in a school for a degree he isn't sure about. It sounds like you'd be perfectly fine with him taking a cashier job at the grocery for a year or two to decide what he actually wants to do. More parents should be like that. One of the options given is get a job. That's simple adulting. Has gonna be an adult at 18, so yeah, you're spot on. Not the asshole. But if your wife is going to support him then I guess there's not much you can do. You need to get her on the same page. You want him to make a life not wasted away. Is whatever he does on the computer something he can make a living at? Not the asshole for every single reason you listed and more. Not the asshole, but your kid sounds depressed. When I was a depressed and suicidal teen, I couldn't even see myself making it to 25 years old, so I couldn't envision any career or educational path for myself. Talk to your kid and try to figure out if he needs mental health support. Or Info. What is he doing on the computer? Playing games? Or is he learning a trade? Like coding, software development, etc. I ask because maybe Hess on the computer actually doing this when you think Hess playing games or something. If computers is what he likes, have you tried talking to him about online coding boot camps, developer camps and so forth to nudge him to at least be productive on the computer? Those don't require degrees, just skills, and they can be learned entirely from the bedroom.